Our top story tonight is a brand new filing by special counsel Jack Smith. You can see it right here in this paperwork. You could see what they're talking about, which is evidence, what lawyers call discovery material. And this kind of filing reminds Donald Trump and his evolving team of lawyers they are on a collision course with Jack Smith's aggressive office, barreling towards a trial slated to start in August. Now, that could be delayed, but only by rulings. It's not a timeline that Donald Trump's team controls. So they're headed towards that. And this filing that we just got outlines the new evidence that Donald Trump's team will get. That includes interviews of defendant Trump conducted by non-government entities obtained by the special counsel's office. The key word here is interviews, plural. Because even in this sparse word, we got new information. It means Smith has at least one more recording of Trump beyond the one we knew about, the one that made news, that was also featured in the indictment about Trump admitting having classified material and saying he could no longer declassify it. So interviews means at least one more than that, and maybe more than one more. DOJ is giving this material to Trump so that he can review it and prepare his defense. That is, along with other evidence from subpoenas and search warrants, grand jury witness interviews, and what sounds like surveillance videos. Now, that grand jury material could include people defending Trump or saying things that are otherwise just helpful to him or don't necessarily hurt him. We do know his aide and co-defendant, Walt Nada, for example, spoke to the grand jury. This new filing, though, will also tell Trump about witnesses who are not defending him. It may even provide testimony that could can get him convicted. Now, Trump aides have wondered whether people like, say, attorney Evan Corcoran or former aide Mark Meadows would take the stand against Trump. In the law, they call that testifying for the government. It can actually almost get confusing when you have a former government official, like a former president, being tried. But for the government is tantamount or equal to for DOJ or for Jack Smith. So take a look at this, because lawyers... Describe it that way. The filing references material from witnesses who will testify for the government against Trump at trial. Now, this is new in the filing. It means Trump will learn who is testifying against him. And there have been reports about all of that worry. And does he worry that factual testimony by people who've been around him would hurt him? Of course, if he didn't do anything wrong, why would that worry you? So that's some of the new material here in the new Smith filing. Then there's something that's not actually brand new, but is pretty striking. It's why Donald Trump was in that arraignment, and it's specific to him and his, shall we say, style, which is different from most criminal defendants. And I want to get into this briefly before I bring in our experts tonight, because it is part of how Donald Trump ended up at that arraignment table in the first place, and a sign of how his reckless statements finally caught up to him in court. The filing dryly notes... The DOJ will provide to Trump, quote, public statements made by defendant Trump. Now, most criminal defendants don't give out incriminating statements in public in the first place. And you don't need to be a, a legal expert. It's kind of a, to know this, right? I mean, it's a hallmark of many crime films that the bad guys are always careful not to confess anything, even on a private phone call, just in case someone's listening, the feds are listening. Well, forget that level of secrecy, care. Trump has made so many incriminating claims in public that they are now literally part of the criminal evidence in this case. In other words, Donald Trump's speeches and interviews can be used against him in a court of law and now are being used against him, as the famous Miranda warning goes. I'm going to show you some of what Trump's going to get, meaning what Smith's team has to provide under these rules. Everything you see here is listed as criminal evidence in the indictment. I'm going to enforce all laws concerning the protection of classified information. We can't have someone in the Oval Office who doesn't understand the meaning of the word confidential or classified. One of the first things we must do is to enforce all classification rules. We also need the best protection of classified information. That is all evidence. It goes to his mental state. It goes to what Jack Smith says is part of how they prove each element of the crime. Not only what he allegedly did, but what he thought at the time. And you just heard him say he thought classified material should be protected. And it's important. And this is how it works. Now, Trump's lawyers don't need DOJ to give them this particular evidence of public statements. It's public. 
I mean, you could find each of those quotes in a YouTube search. But under the rules, it's going over to Mar-a-Lago just the same. And Jack Smith is showing how he builds a case, including using everything at his disposal. And that may teach this defendant, Donald Trump, a lesson from Jeru the damager, who explained, Mama always said, watch what comes out your mouth. It can build a case from here to down south. Never knew hustlers confessed in stereo or on video. Wisdom is like King Solomon's wealth. You think you're a player only because you be playing yourself. Did Donald Trump fully and finally play himself this time? Jack Smith is saying in court, in the indictment, and in this filing, he has the evidence to prove it.